since this administration, since the governor took office in January of 2009, the United States has had one mass shooting per month in 25 states. That is an incident defined by the FBI in which four people, four or more people were murdered in one incident by guns. And certainly while the events at Sandy Hook School in Newtown, Connecticut, the Aurora, Aurora Movie Theater in Colorado, the Sikh Temple in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, uh, Tucson, Arizona, Fort Hood, Texas, and Virginia Tech will forever be remembered. Mass shootings are, are not the main source of gun violence in our country. We have a problem. We have a problem in the state. We have a problem in the country. Uh, too often, people who are prohibited by law from owning or possessing a firearm uh, still manage to get their, their hands on one. There's no reason to require a background check when a dealer sells a gun, but not when everybody else does. It creates a loophole that's too easily exploited by criminals and it puts our citizens at risk. This issue is bipartisan and I'm aware that my own party, the Republican Party, doesn't always view it that way. There, there are many members uh, in the Republican Party who do not. Uh, but it was, it was very interesting to, uh, to see a poll by the Quinnip Quinnipiac uh, University, a poll that showed 91 percent of the people, including Republicans, Democrats, Independents, and NRA members, uh, believe uh, that uh, we should have limitations uh, with respect uh, to the obtaining of guns. That, that's a very significant number. It will save lives. It has saved lives over the last decade. It will save lives the decades going forward, not just the men and women behind me, but also people who are dying at too rapid a rate in the streets of this city and involved in everything from crime to domestic abuse.